Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com here with a quick video on the most common side effects of the medication amitriptyline. First off, as with all my videos, the information in this video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to serve as a substitute for consultation diagnosis and or medical treatment of a qualified physician or healthcare provider. So what is amitriptyline? It's a tricyclic antidepressant. And in the US, it was sold under the brand name Elevil. It's no longer available under the brand name. It's uh, available in the generic. So what are the uses for amitriptyline? Right now, we see it used for chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, chronic headaches, migraine or migraine prevention, the bladder pain from interstitial cystitis, um, irritable bowel syndrome, or just nerve pain in general. Um, this seems to be when we failed other things and it seems to be nerve related, amitriptyline seems to be a medication they reach for to help with those conditions. The dosage varies. Uh, typically you're started anywhere from 25 to 50 milligrams up to a maximum daily dosage of 300 milligrams a day. Rarely do we ever see anybody all the way up to 300 milligrams though. Uh, I, typically the ceiling dose, uh, you know, I see at people in the pharmacies where I've worked at usually 50 to 100. Most common side effect, sedation. Sedation can occur in more than 10% of people who use amitriptyline. That's why it's often dosed at bedtime to kind of offset the effect. And a lot of times when you have nerve pain, nerve related issues, the sedation is somewhat welcome as it can help you sleep. The sedation can carry through sometimes into the morning. Uh, typically when people, the longer people are on this, the more they get used to that and that side effect kind of wears off the morning sedation. What are some other common side effects that can occur? We do see uh, blurred vision, uh, confusion, mental confusion can occur, constipation, dizziness, uh, sexual dysfunction, weight gain, dry mouth, urinary retention. So it, it's, it's not a medication without risk, but a lot of these conditions people have had for years or they are really bothersome. So it's one of those situations where you've got to look at the risk benefit. And for a lot of folks, they're willing to take the risk to experience the benefit of reduced pain. There are also many cautions to keep in mind as amitriptyline has started. Uh, anything in the antidepressant family, we need to be concerned about suicidal behavior. Typically when used for pain, that's not an issue, but it is a warning. Uh, it's given out with all antidepressants. Folks who have bipolar, uh, a mania can occur. If you have heart problems, this can sometimes affect cardiac conditions, uh, certain types of glaucoma. It can cause low blood pressure, so we need to be careful. Um, low blood pressure could make you faint or dizzy, prone to falling over um, or getting hurt easier. Withdrawal, this medicine you don't wanna stop quickly. Um, you could go into a withdrawal symptom if you've been on it for a while and stop abruptly. It's uh, not recommended that you be have this medication in your system when you have surgery. It may interfere with some of the uh, sedation that they use during the surgery. It has anticholinergic effects and that can cause urinary retention, dry mouth. This can also um, cause falling. Seizure disorders, uh, it needs to be used in caution in folks with seizure disorders. Diabetes, uh, if you have diabetes, we do see this used a lot for uh, nerve pain associated with diabetes, but um, it can affect sugars. So if you're monitoring sugars, you know, just keep that in mind. If you start on amitriptyline and your sugars are out of whack, could be the amitriptyline. It uh, has been shown to increase the risk of fractures and there are certain uh, rare blood effects that can occur. That's why if you're on this, you should see your doctor on a regular basis and have labs and everything to check. Uh, I do appreciate you watching this video. Um, go ahead and ask any questions in the comments below. And I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel if you like videos like these. Thank you for watching.